Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where we teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now today I'm going to teach you how to censor someone or something. And yes, I know why you clicked on the thumbnail. You wanted to see some dirty things, right? Well, unfortunately, we do want to show you something, censored of course, but we don't want to get demonetized. So this will have to do. And there's actually two ways to do this censorship. Now let's start with the first one, but of course I need a shot first. And nope, we're not going to use a topless shot, guys. Now let's say that you've shot something and there's a person walking in the back who doesn't want his or her face on the internet. Or that you've shot a logo or brand that needs to be confidential. Well, then no worries because we can simply drop that shot into Premiere Pro and get started. Now first we head over to the effects panel and look for the Gaussian blur effect. We select and drag that onto our clip and then head over to the effects controls panel. We scroll down until we see the effect and within the effect we're going to create a mask. Now since I'll be censoring a person's face, I'm going for the circular mask, which I can make by clicking on this little icon right here in the Gaussian blur effect. Bam! A circular mask is created now and we can adjust this by pulling these points and we can drag it to the desired place. In this case, the person's face. But before we do that, I'm going to make sure that I'm in the beginning of my clip. So from the timeline, I'll drag my playhead to the beginning and now I'm going to rescale the mask to the right scale and position. Now once that's done, I'm going to feather the mask a bit and let it track the person's face. Now you can do this by clicking on the play icon here, which is the track select forward tool. You'll notice that the mask pad is creating a lot of different keyframes now. If one of these would be a little bit off, you can always adjust it manually by replacing it in the program monitor. Oh, and by the way guys, if you don't see your mask, just click on the mask inside the Gaussian blur effect in the effect controls and this will show you the mask. Okay, now once this is tracked, we can simply add more blurriness and that's basically it. Now this looks a bit cheap and I would recommend this method for hiding logos in the background, but not really for human faces. Now here's a second method that I do recommend using for human faces. We go back to our shot, but this time we're going into the effects panel and look for the mosaic effect. Now drag this onto your clip and head over to the effects controls panel. Once again, we're first going to make a mask and track it. Now don't forget to feather it a bit. Okay, then we're diving into that mosaic effect. Now I'm going to change the horizontal blocks to around 150 and do the same for the vertical blocks. This looks good enough in my opinion. Then we're going to place a keyframe for both these properties, then go to the end of the clip and change the properties to 175. This creates a small animation giving this effect a little extra touch. And that's it. Hey, welcome in our Cinecom studio, guys. Apparently someone is walking behind me, so let's blur that person's face and his t-shirt, but he can't be on the shot because he doesn't want to be on this shot. So let's do that right now. Apparently he's blurred now. Looks good, right? Super easy also. Oh, and just a little tip. When you want to censor someone's voice, you can just go to the effects panel, drag the pitch shifter effect onto your audio, go to the effects control, and then from the pitch shifter effect, go to edit and then lower the sense and semitones. And this will give you a very low voice, which is ideal to cover someone's real voice. Hey, welcome in our Cinecom studio, guys. Now guys, I often recommend our Skillshare classes for when you want to learn even more about filmmaking or editing. And guys, we're going to release a new class very soon, so definitely stay tuned for that and get your subscription right now. With the link below, you'll get two weeks of free access to Skillshare, so definitely check it out. That was it, I'll see you guys next week, and as always, stay creative. <laughs>